Why do my POC co-workers listen to TikToks at full volume and my white co-workers use earbuds? INB4OP gets the locked award. In my workplace everyone is white. Three-tenths of my co-workers will regularly listen to their videos super loud. The rest you never hear their phone. Probably depends on how the person individually was raised and their values and not the person's racial background. I'm a POC and I always use headphones if I'm listening to something in public and no one else indicates they want to listen. Like everyone else said, go ask them. I think you confused POC with POS. You'd have to ask them where I'm at. People of all color, shapes, and sizes use earbuds, or don't. There is no racial component to these actions. Entitlement Mindset Turn your phone up to full blast and listen to Dave Ramsey podcasts. That'll show M. This isn't a POC thing across the board. Your co-workers who play their TikToks loud are just inconsiderate or don't realize some people don't like the noise. I think the loss of the headphone jack has made this more prevalent. Folks who are considerate have Bluetooth gear or cables because they know it's not a great look to blast stuff out loud. Others who don't prepare and don't buy even the cheapest wireless gear let alone charge it regularly are the people you're meeting that their poc could be an indicator of financial inequality or my mom does my laundry culture that many men share globally i think it's cultural in the following regard people who don't have a lot of social power exert power when and where they can this is only in small ways and often manifests as annoying the people around them like listening to things without earphones or walking really slowly with multiple people abreast. Selfish and inconsiderate people will be selfish and inconsiderate. Make a complaint if it bugs you so much but I wouldn't recommend it. Just put your own earbuds in and ignore them. That's what everyone else seems to be doing and if you don't like that plan, find somewhere else to have your breaks. You're better off making your own comfort instead of trying to lead a herd for the same results. Proof of concept co-workers? Weirdly I have noticed this divide by gender more in my life, but I come from a country that 97% white. I always notice it's always really old men who can't work technology or young men, teenagers who do. This. Are the POC maybe in that demographic? I have some bagpipe music I truly love. Sometimes I'll play it at full volume to make sure they can hear it with their TikTok. The thing about bagpipes is their harmonics cut through everything. Happily. All eyes on me mentality, or just wants a reaction so they can create even more drama. I don't think skin color has anything to do with this primarily. However, there are some things that do factor into it that may correlate self-image. Communality, i.e. how large is a person's personal bubble? How accepting is a person of intrusion into theirs? Self-awareness and self-restraint. How much does one avoid interfering with another person's perceived comfort? And so on. Those may be cultural. They may be economic, they may also be personal, biographical aspects. Either way, I agree with the take that this is just people being assholes. And to answer your final question, yes, different norms and values covers it pretty well. Some people don't get the concept of private space because, for one reason or another, they may have never learned it. Different cultural norms is most likely the answer. Just start committing on every single TikTok they play and generally try to have a conversation. Oh what is happening in that one? Whoa play it again? What is wrong with that person? Kill them with kindness. They will either leave to not be around you or bring earbuds. 
not a race thing, but those particular people are just stupid. Some people suck. If multiple people are annoyed by this, mention it to a supervisor. If that doesn't work, just sit at the same table as them and play a video louder than theirs. Other than the common human factor of some people just being an asshole, it's probably not a race thing but a cultural thing. You didn't mention if they were raised in the USA or immigrants and where exactly they come from. And that is the key information. In some places in the world, it is just acceptable to be loud in public places compare Southern Europe versus Northern Europe. For example, if you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.